Do you think that this could be Marvel propping up their own Spider-Man? The rights are obviously very messy. Most definitely, I think. But like, if they want to design like their Spider-Man, like, yeah, yeah, do do it like this. And I think the reason too why Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man was such a big thing for them because mm-hmm. we've been wanting something Spider-Man-esque uh-huh. since No Way Home. Right. right. Well, yeah. what about Madam Web? That's Spider-Man. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you Anime shut your point. mouth, Evan. How dare you? To the break room. Hey, D23 was this past weekend, and despite a three hour Friday night showcase, Marvel still had some tricks up its sleeve with the animation panel on Saturday. We'll talk about all things animation and more that was shown at that panel. I'm Brandon Barrick. Joining me today, he's 3D. It's Jay Washington. I thought I was fourth dimensional, be quite honest. Once I, <laughs> Are you traveling through time? Look, once I put on this cat shirt, oh. I want to be seen. You know, <laughs> you know technically, yeah. Jay, you're right. We are four, four dimensional. We are 4D. That exists through time. Yes, we're 4D. Mm. Uh, Shout out to Sausage Party for teaching me that. Uh. <laughs> also joining me, that's the only good thing Sausage Party ever did. Uh, also joining us today, we got Tom Michelson. Hey, hey how you doing, guys? Flesh, not animated Happy at all. Happy to be back. Nope, I am really here, not a robot or animated. Mm, that's what a robot would be. That was sort of robot would say. Oh, they would say they're not a robot. <laughs> of uh, course I am not a robot human. <laughs> Incorrect query. <laughs> uh, one thing I, interesting I did learn at D23, the animatronics that Disney has, I think they've called the models like a T-100 and a T-1000. No way. Which I was like, yeah. This always happens, uh, I, where it's like you take something evil from sci-fi and you name your it's stuff like after it's like a bad idea. Yeah, exactly. It's a bad it's idea. It's a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna ask a question, and yeah. it's probably been answered years ago, and I never heard it, or I missed it, or my brain being okay. as blank as it is from getting hit with chairs over years. Why is it called D23? Oh, that's a great question, Jay. The Disney company was started in 1923. Okay. So they they call it D23. Disney so, starts with D. Yeah. And it ends with an empty wallet. Uh, uh, exactly. They, uh, they, uh, I mean, you should have seen it's the amount of money I spent on pants, it's folks. It's true. Um, uh, they, it did start in 1923, but then, like, they, they use a lot of dates. There's, like, a 1930. That's what I thought it was 30-something, like, yeah. Was like, yeah. The park opened in 55. You know, a lot of okay. dates. Lots okay, of dates. I just wanted, to make, just wanted to make sure for my reference. Yeah, that's what the D23 is. Walt Disney Company started in Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but let's talk about some of the things that were announced during this animation panel they had on Saturday. We'll begin with your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. This was probably the thing they showed the most of. We had a lot of news for this one. Uh, we got to see the voices of Spider-Man on stage, including Coleman Domingo, who's going to be voicing Norman Osborn. I am so which was so cool. Yeah, he's a villain, just not Kang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, he's still a villain. Kang. Still a villain. No, just still a Kang. villain. I you know what I'm fine with that. I think the reason too why Friendly Navy was Spider-Man was such a big thing for them because mm-hmm. we've been wanting something Spider-Man-esque. Uh-huh. Since No Way Home. Right. right. You know, there's been this like, we don't know when Spider Man 4 is dropping, right? Do we know? Well, yeah. what about Madam Web? That's Spider Man. You know what? <laughs> You shut your point. mouth, Evan. How dare you? Let me tell you something. You're going you're to write this on your own notes? So this is for people that twitch. I was sad there was no, no Madam no. Web up there. Paul, please. Oh, you man. shut your filthy mouth. Evan's over there like, sex, have sex. <laughs> like dancing like Matt Smith over there. That's oh, he's Morbius. so happy. Smorbius. Smorbius. Morbius. But yeah, that's why I think that's probably Wait, one of the biggest swamps. That's Morbius. Yes, the Matt Smith is Madam Morbius. Madam Web is, I can't open a Pepsi can. Ma- Ma- Madam Web is, hey, guys, oh, you're gonna, right. Madam Web is everyone we need to learn CPR for six minutes in one Scene. I get really good movies mixed yeah. up, so that's, that was my. I'm bad. getting tired right. now. Are you ready? Really good. Yeah, you ready to switch? switch. How, how come he's dead and all the blood's coming out? Oh, yeah, exactly. But yes, Jay. To your point, I think uh, yes, people have been wanting something uh, Spider-Man related from Marvel. Yeah, right, specifically. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think that was the biggest thing because, like I said, we don't know. We know it's in pre-pro. We don't even know for uh, Spider-Man 4. We don't even know what the story is yeah, yet. Yeah. So having all that just sitting around and waiting on Tom Holland to leak something, you're like, because <laughs> that's what it is. So you get all this. And it's Coleman Domingo as a villain. His voice is just pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot what I was watching. He's a, he's like, I think he's a bad guy in something else with his voice. I can't remember what it was. It was something recently I watched. But it's just like his voice is so powerful, mm-hmm. so it works. Him yeah. as Norman Osborn, and when you hear what it is, I'll let Brandon talk. Yeah, it was great, and like he was saying he was so excited to be playing a villain, he's like, especially like someone like Norman Osborn, who, you know, is a complicated villain. Oh, yeah. And he get to have the waves, too. Yo, yeah. shouts out to Spider-Man 90s. Yo, <laughs> yeah, Norman, Norman Osborn, Osborn, Osborn has waves. waves. Yes. 
Yes. I and forgot that Coleman Domingo is Unicron's voice. In that's Rise what of the it Beast. is. He's yeah, Unicron yeah. in, uh, st- in uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast. Yeah. Yeah. He's Unicron. That's yes. Nice. I couldn't rem- I knew it was he, something. He was great. I mean, he looked very fly on stage, looking very nice. Uh, and he, w- he was talking about playing the character and how it's really fun in the show because Norman Osborn starts as like Peter's mentor in the series. That's right. I like, heard. so it's going to be very interesting how it all plays out. Uh, he was because, like the man like, in the chair in one of the yeah, yeah. or something. So yeah. like Peter Parker's like very, you know, impressed by Norman Osborn because mm. he's like, you know, the head tech guy yeah. in New York City and like he's working with them and he's like his mentor. And then in a clip they showed later, right? Spider-Man's fighting these like two goons and like he gets a radio message and it's Norman Osborn who's like literally <laughs> at a chair, at a computer like Spider-Man, you gotta look, you know, before the thing charges up, there's a beep. Wait, so, so like, Norman yeah. knows that oh, Peter is Spider-Man? Did they make that clear? I don't think they made that super clear uh, yet. Okay. And I don't know, because they, they showed two sequences. So we'll get back to that yeah, one. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. The first clip, and this is what really shocked me. So it's like Peter going to Midtown for his first day of school, right? And as he's like walking up to the steps, like a green portal opens up in the sky. This like crazy monster drops down that's got horns like kind of like mandible horns right here and like kind of crazy hair. It looks like a symbiote, symbiote sort of. Oh, Lord, here we but, go. but it's not, a, it's not a Venom thing. I, there's this uh, character from the comics that I think it might be uh, Sh- Shathra, okay. something like that. I'm not super familiar with it, but as, as this creature drops down in front of Peter, I was like, oh, he's gonna have to like go become Spider-Man or whatever. And then all of a sudden like the magic bands of Sidorak like wrap around it. No. And it's like Doctor Strange, very 60s Doctor Strange, yeah. got a little mustache. He's okay. got the like yellow gloves, but they don't know each other at all, right? It's okay. not like he knows Peter Parker. So I was like, okay, that's interesting, blah, blah, blah. Um, and like Peter goes and like saves a student who turns out to be Nico Monaro mm. from like Runaways, which, which is yeah. crazy. crazy. So they're yeah. they're doing kind of what they did in X Men '97, where it's like they're gonna mash all the timeline or all the time yeah. periods together, right? right so right. if it's an old villain or an old character or a new villain, new villain or character, like it can exist. By the way, if you did not time. watch Runaways on Hulu, I would encourage you to check out season yeah. one. Uh, cause <laughs> cause that's, it's not the only one. There. It was two seasons. Oh, I was gonna say season yeah. two was kind of just it didn't really play well for uh, me. But season one, the introduction, the way yeah. they did them, and they deviated from the comics a little bit to have the comics them, were really fun too. Yeah, they, they deviated from the Runaways and the Pride, but it worked. So I just wanted to. So yeah. Nico Monaro was in it. Also, shout out to my homegirl Brittany Shibashi. She played Nico's mom. In, oh, uh, okay. and awesome. And my homeboy uh, Ryan, who played uh, Gregory, who played the uh, dad of the black kids. Oh, that's yeah. it. There awesome. you go. Yeah. Um, also, anyone in the Marvel Snap Alliance, they know who Nico Monaro. Let's right. go. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I got Nico, and I'm very angry about you it. You don't have Nico? No, I don't. It's insane. Do you have Jeff at least now? Uh, I did finally get okay, Jeff. Okay, good. Jeff I paid 6,000 tokens for Jeff. <laughs> oh, God. Disgusting. So Peter, like, saves the, the girl. Doctor Strange kind of deals with the monster, right? And then, in the most insane thing, I can't believe that this was in this clip, a spider, like, comes out of the green portal. Like a spider spider? Or like like some... a spider spider. Okay, it okay. looked, you know, a little weird. Yeah. yeah. Right? Intenty, but it was, like, it was very clear, like, oh, this is, like, his origin story. First huh. day of school. Pretty nuts. Like, drops on his neck. And so you're like, oh, this is like totally nuts, so right? Is, are you fine? Are you good with that, or did you want like something a continuation from? No, what we I have? like it. You know, because it, it's kind of making it clear that this is a separate universe right. and everything. I, 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 I like that they changed the title, and it's not Spider-Man Freshman Year anymore. I think yeah. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man is a more fun title for this. I was gonna say because when they announced this years and years mm-hmm. ago, this was gonna be a title. Yeah, it was yeah. gonna be like to everything. It was yeah. implied. It, it was, was right after Tom like the, Holland. Yeah, Tom yeah, Holland. Right even after. said it was sophomore. You're, you're, right. Freshman year yeah, yeah. of, of that College. same timeline. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. same time. So it's interesting that the, in the time between then, they've taken huge swings that are making a yeah. completely different thing, which is fun and cool. I think there's going to be, and I'm just going to speak broadly, there's going to be a sect of the fan base and just the internet in general, because that's where everyone's vocal about. Mm-hmm. Oh man, we're doing something else in another universe. Look, we're still in this multiverse saga, playing and yeah. right. So it's going to happen. I mean, it just is what it is, but it's not going to be something that's like, how many, did they say how many episodes this was? Uh, they did not say how many episodes it was. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's just something. You know, anyone who reads comic books knows sometimes you pick up a, a story arc 
that is like totally separate from everything. Do you know how many times I tried to explain that to I people? Know, I know. And they keep trying to dismiss it. I'm like, but this ain't the comics. Okay, so what? You can't yeah. have it both ways. Because a lot of people are like, well, I want them to stick to the comics. And then you, they stick to the comics with certain things. Because yeah. you cannot, tra we all know, and if you don't, you cannot translate one to one page to screen. Yeah, you yeah. just cannot. Yeah. Not a different a, medium. Yeah. yeah, different mediums. So I think it's really interesting, too, that they're implying that, you know, this Peter Parker gets bit from a spider from another dimension, a, a weird universe, yeah, I don't know. Universe. Instead of Angstrom it being Levy like- from Invincible made a, made a green portal. <laughs> I know. Like, is that what it is? I was like, green portal? Yeah, because it, yeah. it wasn't like a typical Eldritch Magic, yeah. you know, Camertage, sure, Orange sure. Sparks portal. It was like green, yeah, it's very- It's a radioactive Lordy, dimension. And there's so is this what turns into man spider? I was gonna, no, oh, I, yeah, know. That too. I was gonna say, there's gonna be uh, radioactive versions of every animal and there's a rhino who's gonna bite <laughs> oh, Alexi, Jesus whatever. And the then radioactive lion? The lizard's gonna bite, and then yeah, a lion's gonna bite Craven. Yeah, this is that's how you get doing all the animals. Sony, of, yeah, that's what this, we say. The yeah. Sony villain yeah. the bite verse where yeah. everyone's getting bit. <laughs> Radio, where do you Dude. find a radioactive lion in it? Confirmed. You heard it here first, guys. Confirmed. Wow. It's bite Amazing. first. It was some, uh, <laughs> some, some dude who lived outside of Chernobyl had a lion in his house. Yeah, like, he did. Yeah. Look at my pet lion. He's glowing so weird. <laughs> lion growls, but when he growls, his eyes turn green. Let him bite you. Watch what happens. Hey, it's cool. Let him bite you. <laughs> Look at the power. We had him bite, we had him bite Joseph, and Joseph, he, he died. Yeah. He but listen, it might be different. Off doing great, great, great. He's so doing, great. doing great. Sergey doing, doing great. great. You know who his brother is? His brother can look like anybody, <laughs> <laughs> like chameleon. He got bit yeah. by a little also, chameleon. Also, let this chameleon bite you. My too. nephew had chameleon and take it. Get out, he's radioactive. Who knew? I know we're on a tangent about the Sony Piper, but. One thing I liked about Chameleon in the comics was he sprayed a gas onto his face and then like oh, and just it up. It up. Yeah. And if they do not do that in the Craven movie, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Then what, what are we even watching thing. this movie what for? Silly, know, what right? are we watching this for? If, it's not if you give it bit by a line, you can have like, you know, morphine gas. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> um, they also like release an image of like all the characters. Oh, yeah, that's I right. saw that this picture. Wait, do we have that? Uh, if we don't. Yeah. That is oh, okay. A, and like, that's there's awesome. Amadeus Cho is in there. They dropped his name. You know, Daredevil. I want to know. There. I want to know. Look at the Slingers. You remember that uh, run from the '90s? All those other Spideys, like that one. Oh yeah. The left so, of the yeah. There's like Anti Venom. There's Hornet on the far left. Yeah. There. And then there's um, what's Dusk. Uh, I Dusk is, is on the, the far right. right. And then Prodigy yeah, is the Prodigy. one there. But that was from a run where a Spidey, uh, uh, Spider-Man was on the was on the run. So Peter created four new identities. Right. And uh, so they're from R616 comic universe. So I'm interested, are, like, are those gonna be new? Yeah, I don't know. Suits before I, proto Spider-Man? All I know is we're getting a uh, totally awesome Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting on him to, I mean, totally awesome Hulk. Oh, I've been yeah, waiting totally on, awesome Hulk. Right. Totally yeah. awesome Hulk. I've been, for everybody's like, oh, why oh, we can't get a Hulk movie? Because of Universal with the rights yeah. of that. But the rights to totally all Amadeus yeah. show is available. So yeah. yes, give me Amadeus show. Right. And, and like, you can see there, like a very kind of comic book look that kind of invokes like the 60s. And like, the, I will say like the, what they showed felt that way too. Even the animation you saw? Yeah. It was a different style than? Yeah, it's totally different style than oh, What okay. If, okay. you know. Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of like an animated comic book, as, as cheesy as that is to say. I mean, that's what, and they that's even what like, is. They would even like yeah. pull out from like, and you would see like the white borders of a panel. And oh, like, oh, like in the Angley's Hulk, yeah. where you're moving from one scene to And then they had like a very uh, cool you, like. You, hey, excuse me, sorry. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> can you never reference that? No, movie? we like <laughs> Angley's Hulk. The I'm sorry, I'm hurt you so bad. So the, Hulk so dogs. the Hulk sorry. dogs. The Hulk dogs. <laughs> Hulk dog. Yeah, he picks up that one dog. Yeah. And bam. <laughs> also, Angley's, Angley's Hulk uh, established that like Bruce Banner's dad was abusive. I'm like, that's uh, important. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it was Gary Butte. No, that was Nick Nolte. I'm sorry. It was Nick Nolte going crazy. Ah, I was gonna say Hulk was my favorite, uh, my favorite Avenger. When I, and that movie came out on my birthday. Uh, I went okay. to the theater. I brought all my friends. And when it ended, I was like. Made a huge mistake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that being said, like all these movies, I still have a, I still have love for them in some way. And so I have love for them. Uh, yeah, they 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 didn't they then kind of have like so he gets bit and they they kind of played the like you know Spider Man Spider Man, uh, yeah. but it was like remixed. You know, I have like a cool thing okay. and they showed like you know those little like corner panels you see at the top of the comic with like different versions of Spider Man, yeah. mm -hmm. and then it jumped to like him making his own suit with like. He's got tubes going from his wrist to so like a tank school. on the back. Yeah, very like homebrew. Interesting. And it's like almost like a hockey jersey and it's got like the Spider-Man logo mm -hmm. on it. This is kind of what it looked like here. 
So yeah, oh, this is okay. like what he so was it's fighting like the with. Webs so it's coming a from very his ab- fun. abdomen like a real spider. Yeah, he's got like the <laughs> knee pads and stuff. Like ah, this was a cool. Fun homemade suit. And like yeah. this was what we saw him like fighting the two villains in when like mm. Norman like ah. gets in his ear. I like, like the idea of him having a bigger tank. Yeah. Not being able to make small little. Yeah, but the problem is as soon as it cut somebody cut that hose, you're like, ah, well, I was gotta keep up. He got Bane problems. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's like what I always liked in the MCU with. Uh, Iron Man was like each movie would show a weakness to his armor, and uh, by yeah. the next movie, it like fixed that, that weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very cool, very cool. That's cool. Yeah. When Spider Man was like fighting these two villains, they had kind of like cybernetic tech on. Like uh, it was a woman and a man. The man had like uh, boots on that made him run really fast, and mm-hmm. the woman had like uh, gauntlets that kind of made like a weapon. But it made me think like maybe the Tinker, I don't know, is making mm, that stuff because like it didn't seem like they had made it. It seemed like they were just using it okay. to rob a bank. Uh, which was cool. But yeah, I, it, it wasn't clear whether Norman knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. I don't think he does. I think it'll be very fascinating when they decide to make the switch right. over. It does kind of feel like, uh, what uh, what was the uh, Spider-Man ca- cartoon? Spectac- not, um, the Spectacular Spider-Man? Spectacular the Spider-Man. With, uh, Josh Keaton? Yeah, yeah. yeah. wasn't uh, Peter Parker's mentor in that one was Dr. Connors, right? Or was it Dr. Octavius? <laughs> Otto Octavius was like his. No, Otto mentor. Octavius was like, some, was, but he also was some creepy, weird guy in that one. So maybe it was, maybe it was uh, the lizard or. or I'm confusing like the video but, game story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, like, oh, yeah. The, the, but the I, first, I love the idea where like game, his, yeah, uh, a future villain is his mentor. Yes. It's like very fun. Yes, yes. I am Iron Man 10 saying Ultimate Spider Man. So like maybe. Ultimate maybe uh, that. Yeah, Ultimate yeah, yeah. Spider-Man. Let me ask this question. Do you think, and I'm trying to again look outside of the realms. We are going to watch it. We're going to love it. Mm. We Because we're probably going to be like, yo, okay, it's a great Spider-Man thing. You saw what you saw, and we have, we've seen the pictures. Do you think the casual fan will be like, this is nice? Or people going to be like, oh my god, it didn't stick to the story. I mean, I think if you are a casual fan, it'll be like different enough that okay. you might enjoy it. I, or you'd be like, oh, that's how it happened? Like, yeah. this portal opened and yeah. the spider came up? They're like, not even going to know, maybe. Part of, one of the things I loved about Spider-Man in the MCU was that like they kind of skipped the origin story. Now it was like a sneaky way of being like, it was actually a three movie origin story to remake Spider-Man. Sure, sure, sure. But it was fun to be like, hey, you know how Peter Parker becomes Spider-Man, we're just gonna jump it right into right. any Spider-Man, right? Uh, kind of the same thing for the Batman, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. The Pattinson Batman, right? Yeah, you ain't he's already Batman, he, he, you know, he, he's figuring things out, it's fun. So I think like a casual view of, a, a viewer of Spider-Man will appreciate like, oh, I know oh, he gets bit by a spider and blah, 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 but like, I think they're gonna do a fun job introducing new fun characters. Okay. And like, you know, he had a great sense of humor. There was jokes, there was quips, there was thwips. It was a good time. Ah, it was a good time. It was twist. And the action was fun, and like I liked the look of it. And I do appreciate with all the things Marvel showcased at this animation panel, it wasn't just like the what if style. Yeah. Again. Yeah, if it was all the same. Because I think what if is their weakest animation I'm style. Like, th- that's fine, but it's nice to see that they're dabbling in different things and making them feel different. And they didn't mention if these are all related, though, right? These are probably all different universes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was clear that this Spider Man was in like a different universe sure, sure, and sure, all sure. that. Yeah. And they're not. What if is the one thing that they're like, no, this is canon, but they're it's different so, universes. Sure, yeah, the canon of what if is so confusing. I mean, yeah. we were, we'll talk about it in a hot second. It's just like, all right, wait, wait, wait where does this play in? Wait, Peggy Carter, she's Captain Carter here? Okay, but Peggy Carter was in Doctor Strange. Wait, she's dead. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. happening? Is this the same Peggy? It's a little messy. Right, it's, it's a little messy. Right. It's a little messy. Um, and yeah, I don't know if, if there's a chance that we'll see like this version of Spider-Man could show up in Beyond the Spider Verse. I don't yeah. know when that movie's so ever gonna come out. That movie so they yeah, can and we know that they can throw in a character two weeks before the movie comes out. I mean, like they the T-Rex had, was added like they had 900 Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. We were talking about this a little bit off screen, but do you think that this could be Marvel propping up their own Spider Man? The rights are obviously very messy. Most definitely, I think. But like, if they want to design like their Spider Man, like yeah, yeah, do do it like this. Now, even in that clip they sh- or that uh, promo art of like all the characters, there is a version of Spider Man in the red and blue suit that sure. we all know yeah, so yeah. much. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's where this character will get. Wait, can I see it again? Or if this will be like another. Yeah, you see him oh, down in there the, in the front. In the front, okay. <laughs> like, maybe he runs into this person at some point, or, like, that version of oh, Spider-Man, is, I don't is know. Is that the monster in the top right, or is that Scream? Yeah, that was the monster that was the in the monster top that right. That does look like a symbiote, actually. Like yeah, a it has, like, kind of the symbiote yeah, eyes like, and the mandible. Yeah, like a symbiote. It's a symbiote eyes with, like, That looks like a Venom symbiote, yeah. I mean, it mandibles. kind of looks like Craven as a symbiote, <laughs> too. Looks like Blackheart, even. Yeah, like, I don't know. But what's interesting is even they have other new, like, Daredevils. It might be a year one Daredevil in this, too. Yeah, yeah. And look at the Iron Man suit. 
Wait, where is he? Right under Dr. Strange. Yeah, it's like an old school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate has that 60s aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, like, Chameleon's in there. And both, like, Rhino in the gray tank top and, like, uh, Scorpion in the green, right? It's like they didn't show their outfits yet. And I can see why people are saying Ashastra. Looking at that, like, back to back with, like, the comics images, it does look very similar. Yeah, Yeah. and also, like, that character, you know, I, the idea that his spider comes from a different universe, they kind of played in that in like Into the Spider Verse, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. From like a different universe. Yes. Like that, that'll be interesting to see how its powers manifest in this version of Peter. And is, is there a spider in that universe that was supposed to bite him? I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, but very cool. I'm very excited to see where that goes. It was fun. Uh, and I, I really like the style of it. And when does it come out? We don't know. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's rumors, rumors this November. This November? this November, yeah, that would be dope. They gave, us, they gave us no firm date. I feel like they would have announced it if it was this November. But yeah. I think no, I think you shouldn't, because here's the problem. They this we we talked about this on the break room numerous times. Stop announcing dates mm-hmm. for yeah. certain things. Oh yeah, yeah. Because once you start announcing dates, everybody is holding yeah. you to these dates. Especially animation, because especially animation. They've been learning so hard to, lessons yeah. about how long it takes for animation to get done. They did say everything they showed was in for the next eighteen months, the next year and a half. Okay. So, oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Next up, we'll talk about Marvel Zombies. Yeah, remember that one? Remember that? (laughs) This is something something they talked about. In 2022 at D23, they brought up Marvel Zombies and they showed some like character assets. Yeah, because that was that from that one episode of uh, What If? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, And and everybody got excited about it. It is a spinoff of that. They confirmed it's going to be like a four episode series. It's going to be rated TVMA. Dope. Which is half hour ups? Probably? I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I hope it'd be longer, but... I have no idea. I mean, here's the thing. What... The There's... what ifs are kind of long episodes. There, there's so much closer to see. 40 minutes than a half yeah, hour. Yeah. Like, what do we need to see? I, I, look, I'm excited for it. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But four episodes? Do we? Are we trying to figure out what started it? You know, at the end? Well, we kind of know what started it, right? It was a virus from the, from quantum, the quantum realm, realm that yes. Janet brought back. All that good stuff. I, I don't know how it's all going to mesh, right? Because... They showed this footage where it starts with like the zombie outbreak in San Francisco. Mm. When Wu comes flying in a helicopter with his buddy Death Dealer, uh, and they're and do the, you see like Katie and Shang Chi in their red valet vests? Uh-huh. They're fighting off zombies. Which is again, this man is the master of the martial arts, and you've helped to save the world somewhat. And you got to go back and ballet and call. Wait, so well, well, I, 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 I was under the impression this, this was before. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. It's an alternate. Because, uh, it's an alternate history. Uh, okay. Yeah, if okay. you watch the in the, the what if funnier. episode, yeah. actually that that would be funnier. You you know, he, got, he got the ten rings out. He's like, all right. I'll yeah, Mark, Mark Ruffalo and Brie Larson. Gone. I gotta. I gotta the go back to The ten rings don't make money, folks. Yeah. He has to sell off one ring. Hey, I'll see y'all a little later. All right, go go to the grocery store. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because in. The what if episode? It's when um, the Hulk comes back to Earth right before Infinity War. That he comes back and it's been two weeks since the uh, infection or the zombie outbreak had started. Mm. Yeah, Hulk, so that so means it's like 2018, basically, yeah. when the outbreak starts. Okay. So if you're saying the clip is like the start of the zombie outbreak, yeah. probably right. Because yeah. it's like San Francisco is getting overrun. There's one giant zombie walking around. So that's either Hank Pym or uh, Bill uh, Bill Foster. Bill Foster. Because like Scott Lang, if if it, if this is a spinoff of the show, like Scott Lang's head was like preserved right. uh, in that episode of What If. So I don't think it was Scott Lang or it could be another, it could just be a zombie that wandered into Hank Pym's house and even, ate some I didn't even think about the Pym particles. particles. But th- this, this, yeah, this may not be connected, but it would, it would make think more it sense if gonna, it was. I think it's supposed yeah, to yeah, be okay. connected to that universe. Yeah, yeah. So it's and, a what-if show. Yeah, and Bonnie Air, um 52 in the chat saying, is this supposed to be the, the, like, the real-life Shang-Chi? It could also be like his whole timeline could have been accelerated, right? I mean, he didn't have the Ten Rings right. when Wu has to give him yeah, the Ten Rings so here, like, but so, he could be have gone under a different training or something, yeah. multiverse. But well, he, didn't, he, he didn't meet his uh, Aunt Michelle Yeo yet. So I know. He, he didn't learn <laughs> the, yeah. the other... He didn't know the Tao Lo the, magic. Yeah, exactly, Tao Lo, exactly, the we all did it. We all exactly. just being towel. An air nomad. Uh, and way. he didn't, yeah. uh, like the rest of us, get cheated out of Fing Fang Foom. Mm. <laughs> Is that get it? out of here. We might get a yeah. Fing Fang zombie. Hey, no, yeah. I wanted we'll Fing see. Fang Foom. We got a giant dragon. <laughs> we yeah, I wanted Fing Fang Foom. <laughs> He should have been behind that door. They're behind that wall. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, exactly. He was the one calling out. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Wenwu shows up. He's a badass with his ten rings, right? Killing all these zombies. That giant one, he like headshots it, and oh, it just nice. like falls oh, wow. down. It's very cool. And then like he's like, get get to the chopper. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He didn't say that, but it's, yeah. it's a fun. It's an invite. Get, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. I'm here, kill Arnold's me. I'm <laughs> doing it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Come on, kill me. Arnold Schwarzenegger making his MCU debut Dude. as Wen Wu. Wen Wu. <laughs> that yeah. would be amazing. Confirmed. Shang-Chi, get to the chopper. Can't he? Come on. You better Pump these answer irons. the phone because I'm hearing 10 rings. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Keep it, Brian. Keep that. You better call K Jewelers because I have 10 rings for you. Every, Every kiss, kiss begins, begins with, with K. K. Every kill begins with K. <laughs> what? It's a little Dolph Lundgren. I'm it, I think. Uh, <laughs> going a little Dolph, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, so they're heading for the chopper. Shang-Chi gets bit, and I was like, oh, they're killing up Shang-Chi already. But then Wenwu, he shoots over the ten rings onto Shang-Chi's arm, and as the virus is spreading, it, like, stops. Oh, so Shang-Chi no. has a gray arm with the rings, but then Wenwu, he bites the dust. And it was a pretty graphic death, too. Ooh, it's pretty no. cool. Yeah. But then, much like Infinity War, it, or Endgame, it jumps to five years later. Five years later. Uh, okay. And it's like, now it's like a, a wasteland, a desert, and there's like a caravan, a very, very Mad Max. A caravan driving with like Katie and Shang-Chi in one car, mm. and then Wenwu's driving this big truck that's full of cows, apparently. Wait, Wenwu? I thought he died. Or not Wenwu, sorry, oh. Jimmy Woo. Jimmy I was Woo. like, he's like, uh, driving uh, uh, yeah. in my life. He's only good for driving cars now. They found they 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 Jimmy, Jimmy Woo, Woo in San cool. Francisco. He's cool. driving the truck of cows, and then like these scrolls show up on like motorbikes and like wasteland cars, Whoa. and they're like throwing the exploding sticks and all that stuff. And then Shang-Chi and Katie from the car are shooting out the 10 rings. Like, Katie's Katie. using them, too. So it's, wow. like, really weird and interesting. Like, mm. no zombies in the future as far as I know, but they're probably out there somewhere. Yeah, we were talking about it before the show, but, um, you know, when, when I heard that the rings went on his hand, I was like, oh, is it keeping it at bay? Kind of like Cable's, you know, metal arm and right. the virus. And every time he uses it, it would, like, co grow a little bit or something. That'd be really cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Or did it just like... automatically cure it because these are magic things it's that we still, never have. His arm have in the future yet. still yeah. looked grayed out and stuff. I so see. I think... He's but, probably got to keep the rings oh, on. Oh, that means he gives himself an amazing stranger. Listen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jay, Jay, Jay. A violent Jay. one, too. A violent one? Just no. Uh, stop. Stop. stop it. Here's a question, Jay. Is that technically necrophilia? If it's a dead uh, I don't know. I don't Good know. Question. Good question. Don't, know. Don't, don't you write it down. Don't you, don't you <laughs> make any notes. Okay. That's don't a medical you, term. That don't you make any medical notes. Medical <laughs> uh, remember I said in, in 2022 at D23, they showed us some mm -hmm. character assets. Uh, we have those oh, old yeah, assets they showed. So yeah, in this top left here, you know, you can see Shang-Chi in the middle there with his yeah. cape. When, or uh, Jimmy Woo's to the left of him with a card, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, but then there's like Kate Bishop, Yelena Belova, and then to the right, there's like Kamala Khan, there's Death, Death Dealer, Dealer. Yeah. Red, Red Guardian, Guardian and Katie. Yeah. Uh, and we know from like last season, there's gonna be another episode of What If with Red Guardian. So a lot of Red mm, Guardian season. Right. Then on the right, you know, Scarlet Witch, we saw her as a zombie in season one. She started everything. Yeah, she there's did. Ghost, which that's a dangerous zombie that can phase Seriously. Hawkeye. Hawkeye with arrows yeah, in him. Yeah, I was going to say, those arrows in him? Okoye, Who was shooting him? Abomination, Abomination. Yeah. Uh, Half Cap, uh, Half Captain Cap. Marvel. The bottom left, I'm not sure who this crew is. I was, we were thinking maybe widows. Yeah, maybe they're widows. They look like they could be widows. On like a group of widows. And then on the right, the you can see kind of the scroll bikers that I mentioned. So I don't know if all these characters would show up if this was just early designs and hey, they were man, making look, character designs, but. Hey man, look, we need to see some scrolls somehow, some way again, don't we? Dude, <laughs> I mean, like, let's be real. Remember they were Secret intro Invasion? Remember? Right, that's what I'm saying. Secret Invasion was a thing. <laughs> I mean, I know we want to forget it, but yeah. it was a thing. Yeah, and I wonder like what the scrolls. I guess they could be. It's like their new planet, maybe. Yeah, now. I mean, if because oh, we got what we wanted. Well, and, what if the scrolls, planet, yeah. and what if the scrolls are impervious to the bites? Oh yeah. Oh. They, well, if they were, then they wouldn't be on. They wouldn't be like nomads in the desert. They'd probably be living it up. Living it up in the. But cities. that's that would be a really cool idea. Yeah. Yeah, because we know that see, that episode of What If ended with like. Zombie Thanos getting the glove. Oh, that's right. So, like, right. I don't know if he remade the world. I'm not sure what they're gonna. Uh, also, he doesn't have the last stone too yet. Oh, right. They, they have the Vision it. Stone. They're they're trying to use that. We saw Vision kill that zombie Thanos, right? Didn't he like just slice him right in half to get the stone? Oh, no, it wasn't. No, that wasn't zombie was Thanos. That was like a See, regular. I gotta go rewatch this whole. I know. Too, right? Right? What that if zombie season Thanos? Season one. Yeah. Zombie Thanos snaps his finger, becomes alive again, oh. and then now he's on the run, and that would be nuts. Cause, yeah. yeah. Also, uh, people in the chat reminded me that we have another image of Icarus also getting oh, zombie yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, because then this is their like celestial robot parts, right? Right. And, I, yeah, so. it would be 
Yeah, but I think it was implied that their roboticness was kind of organic too. I, I, yeah. I don't know. But again, I don't know if they'll use all these or not. They showed like a sizzle reel when the panel started of like everything. And I, this is my problem with what if. Some of the character designs, it's really hard to tell who it is. Yeah. Like a lot and so of this, this Marvel Zombies the white same dude animation face look the same. as what if? Yeah, Marvel okay, Zombies yeah. will have the same animation as yeah. what if. Okay. And like in that sizzle reel, I thought I saw some Eternal characters in the what if style, but I wasn't 100% sure. Hey, sure, guess sure. what? Also, Did... some multiverses, their uniforms are different, so right. it's tough to tell. Yeah, because I wish they'd have did what the actual story of the Eternals is. You know, <laughs> we don't got time for that. Yeah, we don't. That's me, me upset. Uh, and now with Marvel Zombies, even though they announced it in 2022, unfortunately they said it's not coming out for a bit. So Oof. I don't know. So, but you said within 18 months still? Everything they showed, they said was for the next year and a half. So, which so. means they've probably been working on it for the longest. Yeah. Because, like, we'll talk about what if season three. So maybe while they were working on what if season three, they were working on Marvel Zombies at the exact same time. And I think we'll yeah, get right. what if season three before it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure. If yeah. not, looks like there's the a, end of this year, beginning of next year. And also now, as like a four episode thing, I think that really changes how they can release it, right? They can yeah. do a binge drop for the four episodes, they can do a. You know, a weekly drop, but like it's just four episodes doesn't have to take up a full time. Right. Schedule. I think that's what I think since what was it? Uh, Echo, they gave us the binge model. Yeah. yeah. And then it ended up being well more, way more received well, better than it that is. Show. Yeah, it, it helped, helped that. that show. Because if it was week to week, you'd have been like, huh. So I think like four episodes, you can drop them and then we still got to get, like, yes, we're talking animation right now, but when it comes to Disney Plus, you still get those secret, those special presentations. Right. So we don't know if. Another werewolf by night, midnight suns, yeah. whatever's on the deck, you know, things like that. And we were uh, talking about it before too. I really like the four eps because it'll be less filler. Like, yeah, you know, no filler. Like, well, they have to be very specific with what we, they're doing. We also don't know if they'll be telling one story or if it'll be like kind of jumping around the uh, world. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But looks cool, and I'm glad it's TVMA. It's like if you're gonna do yeah. a Marvel Zombies, like go for it. Have well, I fun. think after X Men '97, watching the deaths the way they happen, I think like, they're, they're they're feeling very punchy. Right they're now. very punchy. Yeah. They're like, yo, we can do this yeah. now. Because we all, when we saw the original Marvel Zombies in What If Season 1, we're like, oh, okay. And so you're like, well, maybe they won't go that far. And then X-Men 97 happens, and you're like, oh, they'll go that far yeah, further. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, before we get, we keep going, we want to thank our sponsor today, which is A Better Paradise. It's a podcast we're super excited about from the writers of Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto series. It's a new immersive audio fiction podcast, like I said, called A Better Paradise, Volume 1, An Aftermath. It's a sci-fi thriller audio drama. It's the very first story in an expansive new universe from Absurd Ventures. It's set in the near future. A Better Paradise tells the story of an ill-fated development of an ambitious but addictive digital video game. Is it Marvel Snap? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's led by inventor and psychologist Dr. Mark Tyburn. As the advanced software they develop begins delivering unexpected and disturbing results, the team falls apart under strange circumstances and the project it was abandoned. But the game world and the super intelligence within, they were discarded, left dormant, and undiscovered until now. Zach, he's an audiophile, I would say, and he's already listened to the first episode, and he called it, quote, a paranoid neo-noir set in the near future where a psycho AI is hunting down the people who created it. It's a little Alex Garland, a little Blade Runner, a little Mr. Robot, and a lot of fun. Zach, Give them the Pulitzer, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favorite things, too, about the podcast is that, like, it's a narrative podcast, so they exp they uh, play around with um, sound design and, like, the sound mixing. It's really cool. There's a lot of different ways to tell a story. And it's audio fiction, um, so I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah. Plus, reading is tough, man. Tell me. <laughs> yeah. Make me read a story. Tell me the story. Me don't like read. Me don't like read. <laughs> me don't like read. Grimlock, no read. <laughs> me, Grimlock, listen on Audible. Me want to hear story. Me yeah. want to hear story. Make, me want to hear words. Make voices. Make sound effects. <laughs> uh, a Better Paradise is created and written by Dan Hauser, lead writer of the Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption series, and directed by his longtime creative partner, Laszlo. A, par a Better Paradise is now out and available everywhere you get your podcasts. Go listen today, and don't forget to follow A Better Paradise on your platform of choice so you make sure that you never miss an episode. Okay, let's talk about another four episode series that they showed here, Eyes of Wakanda. Oh. I had so many questions about this thing. So here's the best part. So we already okay. knew it was gonna be a prequel to everything, right? right? So this is gonna be before T'Challa and pretty much T'Chaka too, right? Yeah, they, it's a four episode series and they said it, it takes place at four different important points in like Wakanda's history. So and the thing I saw looked very like, 1700s, maybe 1800s. I, I need to see the slavery moment, and I, okay. and I say, and I say that because even in the in the very beginning of Black Panther, 
when you have Sterling K. Brown's character and Jobu telling the story right. about how Wakanda was, how to talk about they didn't help throughout mm -hmm. these different points. So maybe, I'm sorry about that. No, so maybe right. those are the points, the stories that he were telling, he was telling, maybe those are the four stories we get throughout the show. Yeah. could have done something. It yeah. Was, it was really interesting, because yeah, I've had a lot of questions about what <clears throat> the show is gonna be. They had Ryan Coogler there uh, and Todd Harris, who's like directing the show. Um, and they said, yeah, it's like an anthology series. Four different points, and it, it focuses on the war dogs, right? Which is mm -hmm. so cool, bring it up. They bring it, yeah, they yeah. brought them up, and it's such a cool concept, and now they're like activated. Or yeah, like, Todd, yeah, Todd Harris was saying he was on set for like Infinity War, uh, and he was talking to like Kevin Feige, and they were kind of talking about like Wakanda, and like what it's like to be there, and they were bringing up the fact that like, everyone in Wakanda is like a badass, basically. It's like, <laughs> they made a joke that like, even like a baker has like a six pack, you know what I mean? Like everyone's ready to fight, <laughs> everyone's ready to go. But they, they were kind of just like riffing on like, what it means to be a society that's like secret, that you have this power for technology, you have vibranium, and you're keeping it from the rest of the world. Like what are the sacrifices that these war dogs have to make to protect it, right? And again. And we saw that play out in we, Black Panther, we saw, right? You hear, the, you hear the conversation with Michael B. Jordan's character, like, yo, our people have been suffering for mm -hmm. generations, mm -hmm. and you all have had the tools to help. So to see the war dogs trying to, like almost, I'll go back to the Eternals. Remember how everybody asked the Eternals, why yeah, didn't yeah. you intervene right. with Thanos? And it was like, we were told we couldn't. <clears throat> so with the War Dogs, why didn't you intervene with this? Because then it would let the world know about Wakanda before right. Wakanda was wanted to be known. Yeah. Uh, they showed uh, a clip from an episode that involved like a new character named Noni, who's like one of the warrior, the War Dog warriors. This this thing looked beautiful, man. It's it was a different animation style. Totally yeah. different animation style. Uh, they had all these different influences they talked about. There's a breakdown on the New Rock Stars channel where we kind of mm -hmm. get into that a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it looked totally different. And Todd Harris, like Brian Coogler was like really like giving his flowers to Todd Harris. Cause like Todd Harris was like a storyboard artist too. Like, oh. and he's like storyboarded out a lot of awesome action sequences. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, so like Ryan Cougar was like, you're not gonna believe like the fight scenes in this. And so they show like a clip where like Noni is like sneaking onto these boats. Like I said, they could have been like 17th century, 18th century boats. And like, uh, there's like this mysterious figure who's like wearing like a golden lion mask and has like some sort of like power tech. I don't know if it was like vibranium or something else, but they had like collected all these warriors from around the world. Like there was like a Viking, there was like an East Asian type warrior, like Noni's like kicking their ass and stuff. And like, why are you guys follow? She was asking like, why are you following this person? He's not a God, he's mm. pretending to be a God, right? So like, it looks like they're gonna get into all sorts of crazy stuff. They mentioned that like they wanted to talk about important points in history, Jay. So I I, I wouldn't doubt it if they don't Black touch Panthers on that. From all those points yeah, in that was too. another thing that they brought up. Really cool. Where like they they talked about the uniqueness of Black Panther, where like you know the title is like a mantle. It's not just like yeah. this hero. Right? I have thank you, thank yeah. you Ryan, thank you Ryan and Todd, because <laughs> yeah. a lot of people have art because that's been a big argument. Right over look, I my shout out to the homie E Man and everybody else with the whole recast T'Challa movement. And it was all about the type, the mantle of Black Panther. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it wasn't just about the, the person. And I, you know, with all love and reverence to Chad, how we all miss him, it was like the mantle of Black Panther. And so to say that, it's like, thank you. But I don't, uh, do you want to see the Black Panther in this? Not really, no. I want to see, see, see the I don't, don't want to see and it. I don't, I don't think we will. They, they weren't saying we would. I think if anything, like a war dog might have a conversation. Yeah, with the see, I'm, I'm Black actually Panther, but looking like, forward to moments like that where maybe they're checking in and we get to yeah. see the design of the Black Panther, how it's evolved from yeah, like yeah. the 1700s till now, and and just seeing you know maybe knowing oh that's you know T'Chaka's grandfather, like little things like yeah, that. Like, I, I, I don't want the black. I don't want this to be a yeah, black. I don't Panther think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, want to be a black Panther. On the war dogs I think it'd be sure. cool to see them checking in. Or, yeah, and, yeah. And seeing like what the Black Panther was like in those times. And also seeing, because each person who took on the mantle will be a different type of person. Of course. So seeing different yeah. reactions or ways of doing stuff. And they, and, you know, when they were talking defensive. about yeah. the mantle of Black Panther, right, they're like, and there's another person, you know, with a mantle that gets passed down who has a glowing fist. So like kind of teasing Iron Fist showing oh. up in the show, which, <laughs> which might be interesting to see. <laughs> and this is going to be, as I'm far as we know. You. Sorry, they hurt you. You know, <laughs> look, Iron Fist is a great character in itself, but again, it is a mantle. Yeah. It is a man. It is not one person. It's not right. just Iron. Danny Rand is not just Iron right, Fist. Right, right. This would be one from right. the past. This would be probably. one from the yeah. past. So, you know, having to fight the dragon again. What is it, Shenlong? 
or was Shen... Shinlock Street Fighter, right? No, what was yeah. the dragon's name? Yeah. For, I, I can't remember. Shen something. Yeah, that's start with the S. Yeah, oh, Mister Dragon. Dragon. And, Mr. and so Dragon, to fight yeah. the dragon again, like to have these great warriors kidnapped and things like that. I wonder is Noni sort of along the same lines of what Nakia was. Maybe, mm. but again, I think Noni will be in one episode. Like, I, oh, it's okay. not going to be the same, because I think they're really going to oh, yeah, jump, anthology, yeah. they're gonna jump far along the timeline. The dragon Shou Lao? Shou Lao? Shou Lao. Shou Lao? Yeah. Kun Lun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kun Lun, yep. But, uh, man, I'm really excited to see. So I, I love the character of Iron Fist. The show left a lot to be desired. <laughs> Finn Jones, I'm sure he's a great guy. It wasn't his fault. But man, but yeah, I really want to see Black Panther. I think that would be, uh, I mean, no, sorry, Iron Fist. I, I think that'd be really cool yeah. and to see how they introduce like the character in the Marvel way. Yeah. Not in the and they tease that there could be other characters that we know show up in this. Also the inception possibly of the uh, Dora. Yeah. The Dora oh Malazza. yeah. Because you have, the, if you're going to do Eyes of Wakanda and different things, you know, you'll have the war dogs who were sent out for missions. Mm -hmm. The Dora are pretty much the personal guard of the Black Panther, but also protect Wakanda as well. So like, I don't think we'll see much of them, but we'll probably see them. And I thought that this was actually a Dora Milaje show. That's what first. I thought it was Wait, at first I, too. I, I thought it was the Dora. Is this not the same? Did they change it? I know, because I think this was the one that was supposed to be about the Dora. Yeah, yeah. it was described well, that, was that two, way. Three years yes. Ago. Yes. Yeah, I think there were a couple projects up in the air. And I remember hearing about a Dora Milaje yeah. show. Yeah, they were either going to do a show. or I think we didn't know what Eyes of Wakanda was going to be. Sure. And so I think there were talks about a Dora Milaje show. And then there was like, oh, there's this Eyes of Wakanda project, mm. uh, which you know we've now learned has been kind of brewing since 2018. Yeah, so okay. like, I think there was evolution along the way. And yeah, they might have the Dormelage in this at some okay. point. Sure uh, hard to say, but I'm very excited to see it. Yeah, and it feels like the animated projects have been some of Marvel's like best kept secrets in yeah. recent years too. Mm. Feels like a lot of stuff has been able to be like, yeah, and we'll surprise you with it. So. Yeah. And I think they're applying that like this might be canon to the six one six. So so things that have happened. Who knows? Might show up. You'll yeah. have like references to things that happened. 40, four, three, four generations down the line that have happened already. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what this was about. Yeah. I, I, you're gonna I, have like a conversation where like uh, a war dog talks to an eternal uh, and like, what they're when, gonna be like, are you gonna do anything about this? Up. And the yeah. eternal's gonna be like, I don't know, are you gonna do anything about this? And they're both like, nope, nope, good. None of us were ever here. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye to you, sir. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're gonna meet when Woo and they're gonna be like, is that vibrating? And he's like, I, I don't know, uh, is I don't it? Know I don't like, know what's vibrating. We'll leave you alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Have you heard of the quantum realm? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm waiting for Kevin Feige to explain yeah, exactly. this to me. All I know is that I can rock it. If I do yeah. this, I can go that Have way. Have you ever heard of the scrolls? No? No? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no? The uh, the shadow dimension? I don't know. The noir <laughs> dimension? Not, I don't know. No, no, no not no. You, you know, the 1700s. Have you heard of a, a mutant? <laughs> yeah, oh. A mutant. There's a guy swimming around in the water. He has yeah. wings Wild. on his feet. They call him Cool Cool Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Nino Cinnamon. Namor. 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 He keeps taking our women into the ocean. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You know, uh, I was a mutant. you like, oh, he said the word. I wish they did the like, -ling -ling, like the mute motif. <laughs> They've been doing that in all their things. Maybe, yeah. uh, now we did get some clips from X Men '97 yes. season two. They very little on this because they were like, we're still working sure, on this. Sure. Uh, it was very quick. They just showed quick shots. There was uh, like Havoc, Polaris, who we did see. Uh, She's on that boat. Yeah, silhouette on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Polaris, uh, of course, Apocalypse, who we saw in like yeah. the post credit stinger. Which made everybody jump up and go, yes! Uh, we saw Sabretooth, Dope. which Morph turned into at one point, but this I think this was implied to be actual Sabretooth. Sabretooth Lady proper. Deathstrike with like Beautiful. the weird, yeah. with the weird white flowy uh -huh. shirt and Logan, the beige. I am, I am not Lady Deathstrike. The Death weird Strike. little hat yeah. she wears. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, is that, isn't it just her A-frame haircut? Yeah, she got the yeah, little yeah, bob. Oh, I thought hat. she had a little hat. Too. Oh, no. actually, she might have a little brown. I think she has like actually, a little. Actually, now that you think about it, I forgot. Like she's uh, it's like a Archie's buddy it's jug. Like, yeah, it's like a something. beanie or something. Her little. She got on a beanie. There was. Uh, Mariko, who is like one of uh, Wolverine's uh, love interests, she was in the Wolverine, Wolverine that yes. character. Yes. Uh, and I was hyped for this. Danger. Danger, wow. Danger is like a sentient version of the Danger Room. Yep. Oh. That first started in the Astonishing X-Men run yep. in like the early 2000s. So again, yep. X-Men 97, they asked Brad Winderbaum about this yeah. too, like, are there anything that's off limit for source material? He's like, no, we can pull from anything basically. And they did that in the first season of X-Men 97, where like, right. they mashed up storylines in a really cool way 
uh, from like you know older stuff, newer stuff. And, it was all kind of mixed and together. And keep it in the continuity of what they did in the original X Men series yeah. too. So like, to be able to pull not, all that, not stepping on their toes. Yeah, right. Because they're yeah. like, this is our own or, timeline where things can happen whenever we. Well, not want. even ret- and not even retconning anything. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that because that was like a big concern. It was like, oh, is it going to be in this style? But some of these things haven't happened. Yeah. It's like no, all this stuff has still happened and everything is just living life. But I think too, the, all the X-Men and all the different mutants we saw on the board that Forge was looking at when Bishop comes oh, yeah, to them, yeah. they'll play a part. Cause this whole thing so. is about getting the X-Men through time. Yeah, cause we have X-Men stuck in different time yep. periods and then in present day also. Um, there was a lot of quick shots. Uh, there was a shot of like Wolverine kind of wearing like the black and yellow suit that was in uh, that Frank quietly developed during the Grant oh. Morrison run of mm. New X Men, which some, I saw like griping online. People like, "These are boring hands. suits." Boo! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Not a fan of those. But suits. also like, <laughs> as as in they did in season one, right? They wore several different yes. versions. Yeah, of they their did. Suits. They so I to... think we're gonna see X Men in different And the storyline, that storyline yeah. though, was a plus. Yeah. Like the Grant Morrison. Run. Look, again, just I like, have one thing I just want to see. I want to see a Celestial. And okay. Here's why: because you have Apocalypse. Apocalypse's mm, armor yeah. is from a celestial. Yeah. And remember, we kind of saw the little thing in yeah. Egypt when it was in his period. So, like, what you got to explain how he got all his stuff. Well, that uh, wait, am I am I tripping? Didn't they have an episode in the old '90s where they showed Apocalypse finding the alien spaceship and getting? I don't remember him finding them. Yeah, I, I thought it was like maybe like in season in four. Egypt or something. Yeah, like yeah. he was a young man in Egypt. Oh, and he, he found the ship. Upon a, a, like a catacomb, and inside is this ancient alien spaceship. But I don't think it was celestial. But they might have, they might have already in the canon of the animated yeah, series yeah, yeah. shown that. But it was a one up. It was oh, okay. one up yeah. later on, I think. Right? I mean, does that something sound weird like that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let us know. If we're we're nerding out just for you. Exactly. It's all, it's all exactly. mashing together in my. But it's not a brain. celestial. Which uh, would have been cool though. Yeah, because yeah. in the comics, that's how he gets. Yeah. That's what it's all. Well, and in X Men, the original run of that series, they would. Pull stuff in from the comics, but not name it. It was yeah. kind of like yes, soft yes. reference. Yes. They're like, we don't have time to get into Celestials, but if you know, you know what it is. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like that kind of stuff. Exactly. Uh, another cool thing that was in this sizzle reel they showed was like a shot of like Jean Grey, and she's like doing like some mind thing to Scott, and she's glowing blue with her telekinetic power, and then she moves her hands away and she makes like Wolverine's claws <laughs> with like telekinetic with her they, powers. Do they have the electric beams connecting like in that old intro? No, not quite, but it was almost like <laughs> yeah. that. And oh, it was like, man. it reminded me kind of, you know, in the first season when Remy jumps on like Wolverine's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and his claws. Pink claws yeah. So like, just crazy stuff. And like, again, I think we were all pretty blown away by season one of the oh, show. Yes. Excited to see where they go with it. You know, I said it earlier, but they're feeling very punchy, I think. and. It sounded like they were making tweaks to season two because they wrote season two a while ago. Yeah, right. Basically when they wrote season one, but they're still working on the animation. So I think they are making changes. Brad Winderbaum kind of said like, you know, we we listened to the feedback from the fans on season one. We saw what they liked. So that made us go in different directions. So well, I don't know. a new know. showrunner now, so yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see, gonna be we'll new see what they do with it. Yeah. We'll mm-hmm. see. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we said about, about that. that. Did you hear about mm-mm, that? Mm-mm, yeah, mm-mm, I heard about that. Um, <laughs> and finally, to wrap it all up, right, we'll talk about What If Season 3, which they confirmed will be the final season of What If. Uh, you know, that this was a show when they first said it was coming, was going to be an anthology show, and then <laughs> sneakily was, just kidding, it's like the Watcher kind of yeah. putting together the Guardians of the, the multiverse, multiverse and all yeah. that. So it, it is an anthology show with a through line. That was, I thought, the biggest mistake, is not making it a true anthology yeah. show. Still fun to watch. I mean, and they put The Watcher in X-Men 97. Right. And they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see him in the he, background. He's in the background. And I think this is all, I think they want to wrap this up because they want to put Jeffrey Wright. They want to put him in the actual in, physical in Watcher. Wars or, yeah. Wars or Doomsday, Doomsday, something like yeah. that. So this will be the end of that, and we I still got to get we'll a Beyonder because if we don't do Secret Wars, we need a we need a Beyonder. Maybe I, I think they might skip it. I don't do you know. think they might? You know, RDJ is available. I heard that. <laughs> I mean, you saw what they did with you know the MCU version of the Infinity War changed a lot of things. Yeah, they, how very much it did. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, they tease like you know they want to take some big swings in season three. They you know they tease like a Western episode, which there was a quick shot of like Shang Chi is like a Western style, huh. all that kind of stuff. But the longest clip they showed, this was really cool. Uh, it was an episode where it starts with like an '80s cartoon intro for like something called uh, Go Avengers Heroes of the Gamma War, and in a very '80s style, it's like the Avengers like Tony Stark or like Iron Man, mm-hmm. you know Thor, Hulk. 
uh, and they're fighting like uh, Giganto, who was on like the cover of like the first Fantastic Four. Oh, comic, that green that guy big coming green out of Kind of kaiju ah. thing. And so they're like, we gotta stop him. And so they developed like mech suits for each, uh, <laughs> Avenger. For each Avenger, and they kind of look like you know Transformers meets. Power Rangers meets Gundam, right? Okay. Like that. Ultron. And so, but, and then it jumps to like present day and it jumps to like the current kind of what if animation style. But now it's like Shuri and it's uh, Red Guardian and Melina and it's Moon Knight, which was wild. Wow. Uh, and it's like- That's a name uh, we haven't heard from in a I know, yeah. right? And it's 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 uh, Sam Wilson as Captain America and they each have like their own- And it's like Pacific Rim. Yeah, yeah. yes. And they each have their <laughs> own like suits and they're still fighting Kaiju. Like that's still the problem. I think in this timeline, like Kaiju are the main problem that the Avengers huh. deal with. It's but funny. then like their suits like combine in a very like Power Whoa. Ranger sequence where it's like, it's like the five, you know, faces yeah, yeah, on screen yeah. at once. And it's when like Sam Wells is like, you know, uh, Avengers assemble and they literally uh, assemble uh, into like- They a better get the hardest metal riffs playing oh, during that part. It like, was diddle, 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 very cool. It was like very cool. Yeah, they better yeah, get that. I was into it as like a Power Rangers boy growing oh, up. Like, yeah. And a Voltron boy, like- Set man. Loved, yeah. it. loved it. Let me tell you something. I have found a Voltron Defender of the Universe on Prime. Mm. Well, the, the original series? Yeah, the original. from days long ago. From Ooh. uncharted regions across did you the watch, universe. <laughs> did you watch the reboot of that show? Which one? The remake they made on Which Netflix one? like a couple of years ago. Wait, there was more than one? So there was a, so they did the Voltron, the original Voltron we know, right? Yeah. There was different versions. There was the regular Voltron and there was the Land Sea Air Team Voltron. Mm. There's also a Guardian Voltron. There's three different Voltrons. Huh. Well. Which is a Netflix one that was The Netflix one is, is, is another one. Uh, but in the 90s, when everybody was trying to do 3D shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember that one? I do remember that one. And the lions were different. They were stealth. Yeah. The lions were oh, black man, stealthy. I don't even remember this. Yeah. I only remember the OG. Evan, Evan, you go ahead and Google, Google 90s Voltron stealth <laughs> lions. I didn't like the 90s one. I remember that. It was a 3D show. Yeah. It looked kind of weird because everybody was trying this whole 3D thing. Yeah, yeah. And did that come out after Power Rangers? So maybe they were trying to... Recap yeah, it was like right own. after, yeah. So we're like Beast Wars? Oh, oh Beast Wars. Oh, yes. Wait, we the... want to talk about Beast Wars? No, okay, we'll no Beast Machines was worse. <laughs> Beast Machines was even Beast better. Beast Machines was I abysmal. Was not, no. This is so funny because this is the Voltron I remember. The uh, 3D animated one. Because he's yeah, a young boy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. Um, I watched the Netflix one. I really liked the Netflix one. The Netflix one was, one was good. It was a return yeah. to form, I thought, yeah. for like the Voltron. Some weak seasons here and there, but like overall good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, very, very cool. I also loved like Robotech as a kid. It kind of reminded me of Robotech. But like, yeah, I that, that, that looks like it's gonna be a fun episode. So I'm very excited for that. I'm excited. You know, what if I think some episodes are really good, some are like rough. Uh, but it's been a fun I, I'm journey glad that they're like, this is the final season. Exactly, I was going to say, it's been a fun Evan. journey, but I'm glad that that's yeah. wrapping up. To Tom's point earlier, do you guys think that they'll try to wrap up like the storyline from season one and two? Like, do you think they'll do it? They'll bring Captain Carter in I another think, through line? I think they oh, will sure. because they want to put Captain Carter in live action again. Sure. I think they want Captain Carter for Secret Wars. Yeah, they want. They definitely want her for Secret Wars. I mean, uh, uh, I forget his name, but uh, uh, the the person who was out for to talk about what if Brian, 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 Brian Andrews, Andrews? Yeah. Brian. Brian Andrews, he was wearing like a Captain Carter shirt, so I was like, mm. because I think they want to see. Yeah. A, I think Secret Wars wants to have that. You need to have that shot of Captain America, Captain Carter, both with yeah. their shields, oh, and yeah. the Captain America. Unfortunately, is going to be Steve. No, I think you, but you could do Sam Or you could do Wilson. Sam too, but yeah. I think you're gonna you have, have them all there, you know? Like yeah, all of them with their shields, yeah. Caps yeah. together. Or, and Red Guardian with his. And then yeah, Captain because... Britain will be there and they'll be like, get out of here, Captain Britain. No, 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 no. Do, you you think, do you think they're gonna have, when they assemble Battle World, they're gonna have Captain Carter, but she's animated? Or you think that, oh, you know, are they gonna, oh. it's gonna be one of those like, cool world you know, type of thing where half <laughs> anime, half No, I don't think they're gonna. How did, how did you feel about it in, in Spider-Verse when, Spider -verse, that's you know, Donald Glover's there as Prowler in live action? Yes. It was enough for me just as it's much. It's good for two seconds. It's good for two yeah. seconds. You don't want like, I don't need the animated battle feeling like who framed Roger Rabbit, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you can put Jessica Rabbit in anything you want. <laughs> to circle back to the parks real fast. <laughs> In Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin in Toontown, in in, D, in Disneyland, mm -hmm. yeah. at some point in the last year, they put a trench coat on Jessica, and I'm angry about it. Oh, there was some parent not in her dress anymore. You know, there was some parent was that some was like, parents. "Oh my God, why is she dressed like this?" And 
I am like, yo. Honestly, Jay, it was probably my wife who called and was complaining. Actually, I'm, guys, like, I'm really salivating. Because I have too many Jessica Rabbit pins. And she's no, no, it. I'm sorry, guys. It was me. I actually was like, she looks cold. Is she? Oh, and I didn't realize <laughs> they were going to put a jacket on. She it was, looks I cold. I didn't know they were going to put a jacket on. The only, yes. You can put Jessica Rabbit animated in anything. That's the end of the story. Um, Before we wrap up, why don't we take some questions from our live Twitch Please, chat that about some of the um, animated projects. Uh, speaking of Captain Carter, uh, Kevin Bailey Jr. asked at the beginning of the stream, although this was a great question. Balls. Oh, Balls. Uh, do y'all think we could get a Captain Carter spinoff if Marvel Zombies is a hit? So this would be like, mm. oh, like a, just a spinoff series. I feel like, sure. I feel like what Carter. if it's her show, though? Yeah. It, I does, just gonna say the same it feels like what if it's her show, actually. I mean, I, I know what you're saying, like her yeah, own show, yeah. but season two fully felt like a Captain Carter yeah, show. Yeah, origin for her. Yeah. yeah. Like, she's in the yeah, if they want to the do end. like a spinoff of it, I'm fine. Just like change that animation style. I'm tired of the what if animations. I would much rather see if we wanted to a, a version of it live action. Like, yeah. kind of like an Agent Carter continued, but I, mixed with this oh, maybe, sure. you know, yeah. like I would like to see that. Oh. Only problem is, it's just the budget. You gotta yeah, do. Yeah. You can right. do more with animation than you yeah, can with exactly, live action. Exactly. I'm fine if they want to do a spinoff. Fine, but like. Yeah, but we've kind of already seen that it. animation. Yeah, style. that's true. I've already seen it. I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired of it. I don't know. Um, Flipside Hero asking, uh, Black Panther with a mini cape or no capes? Ooh, the mi do you like the little cape? Oh, the mini cape. I got a Funko Pop of both. I got a Funko Pop with the cape with the, with I the mean, pointed. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, right? Cape. And, and he shows up with the cape, please. Oh, yes. yes. Looks yes. that. 100%. They, it's, yes. 100%. it's in that 100%. simple style, right? And they talk about, you know, the reason Superman had a cape was because you could tell he was flying. Because you could right. put the animation with the cape. Yeah. When you're doing just like, you know, comic book print like that, the cape shows a lot of movement. Mm. Right. And that's why a lot of superheroes had capes in like comic books. Because uh. they like really show because otherwise it's just a dude going like this yeah. and you don't know if he's flying or moving. You just, or it's just clouds around him for some reason. Yeah, yeah. But okay. I mean you gotta have a version of Black Panther with a little cape. It'd be it's cool adorable. in the eyes of Wakanda, yeah, maybe yeah, the Renaissance yeah. version, he's got a cape or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and the yeah. adorable eyes are like, my God, you gotta look at my king. <laughs> my, my king. My, <laughs> my king my king is a fascist statement. No. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, you don't like it? You Eagle asking, do you think the Watcher makes a cameo in the Spider-Man series? Oh, like... Or in Eyes of Wakanda, either. Any of these animated mm. series. I would have said no before X-Men 97, but... The fact that they put him in that, he's yeah. on the table for anything. But yeah, it, he doesn't have to be. I'm but sorry, it depends, I was just gonna say, it depends on what story they're trying to tell. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Norman Osborn is just the man in the chair. That's not as big of a moment as like Genosha getting but if, wiped out. But if it is like a spider from a different universe, yeah. the Watcher might be like, it could be in the cloud. What's happening here? You'd be like, that thing's happening. Yeah. But again, I think I think if you do, you do it just like you did in X Men. He's yeah. just in the clouds. Yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. in like he's in the sky. It came out later that that wasn't necessarily like in the script, like the camera pans up and there's the watcher. It's sure. like they were doing yeah. the drawing and they're like, we could just put the watcher here. Yeah, it was definitely a real light, you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You miss it all but it, if, if they're doing, a, if they're trying to set something up for Secret Wars where they're like, we're not just pulling from, you know, MCU yeah. films, mm -hmm. we're going to pull anything from Marvel that we've done in like the last 15 years. And the watcher's kind of been there looking for recruits. Yeah. I'm here for it. And that, you have some goofy sequences of live point. action and cartoon and yeah. cell shaded and 3D animated. So now now that we're going to be having that, yeah, why not sprinkle them in because we're all building to it's gonna this one thing. It's going to be like that thing. Chip yeah. and Dale movie where it's like you have all the mix of <laughs> animation styles. Yes. Ugly Sonic's there with his surgery. routine. Oh, yeah, no. Right. Not the Sonic. Oh, the Nightmare <laughs> Sonic. I mean, what I want for Secret Wars is I want not just, you know, Heroes of, of Marvel. I want Disney to pull out all the stops, right? <laughs> You have like Elsa <laughs> show up to fight. You got Dr. Gray from Gray's Anatomy there. You got oh, wow. Rico from Shogun wow. there. You've got uh, Carmine showing up from the bear. He's cooking up something. Franklin Saint is actually with rehab. <laughs> oh, Franklin gosh. Saint come back. Leah, you think I can't have another month? You got, you got Lindsay Lohan from Freaky Friday. She's there swapping oh, minds yeah. with Thanos. I want it all, baby. I want Disney to just like open up the doors. Everyone can show up in Secret Wars. That's what I want. That's the real. That's truly what I want. You got Mr. Toad coming in from his wild ride. Mr. You know Toad I mean? comes back to hell or whatever. That's you crazy. got Walt yeah. Disney 
Cyber, no, don't you do it. Walt Disney. No. His no. head, his head no. put on the body of no. someone else. No. He says, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I Walt Disney. Yeah, and then you have Arnold. Uh, yeah, exactly. Arnold. What do they try when to form will... a union? <laughs> of course they're unions. <laughs> Walt, Walt didn't like the unions, dog. He yeah. did not. I know he didn't. Walt didn't like the unions. He didn't like a couple things. That's why I'm saying quiet. <laughs> that is why I'm saying quiet. <laughs> 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 Uh, any other questions, Evan? Uh, we'll, we'll take some uh, for the Twitch out. Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, yeah. You got to join us on Twitch if you want to ask more questions, because that's it for us today. Make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel right here on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. Mr. J. Washington, where can the folks find you online? That is where you can, Mr. J. Washington. Uh, my OnlyFans comedy set, it sounds so wild. It sounds says. so wild. <laughs> it sounds so wild. Yes. So yes. uh, Only LMAOF, TV, right? Yeah, Only it's OnlyFans TV. TV, yes. OnlyFans TV, my comedy set just dropped, so you can check that out. Uh, go subscribe to my OnlyFans channel, OnlyFans.com slash Mr. J. Washington, and check that out. That's right, folks. When your partner asks why you're on OnlyFans, just tell him it's because of me. Mr. J. Washington. Because of me. Thanks for that excuse, Jay. Tom, Thanks where can they find you on OnlyFans? Um, yeah, well, my, my page isn't ready yet, but I, I'm okay. working on it. I'm getting, mm -hmm. getting content ready. Um, yeah, uh, you can find me uh, on Tom and the Mic on all the socials. Let's talk Beast Wars and Beast Machines. Uh, Beast you. Machines isn't as good, but, but it's still great. No, no it's still great. That. Tank so or is Rhinox? Uh, oh, I, miss me. Oh, I, got, I gotta get out so of this. This is too nerdy for me. Uh, Lordy. Uh, Follow Break Room and R on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, and Threads. We'll catch you next time. Let's get us. Goodbye. <laughs>